Um, yeah, obviously a big one. Um, you know, I think it comes down to to special teams, and um, obviously we did pretty well in that department, so uh, that had a big impact on the game. Is there anything in particular you did differently on special teams tonight? Uh, no, I don't think we're going to get carried away thinking we got anything solved. Um, I think it was just a matter of time. Uh, it's just about sticking with the process and um, you know we wanted to shoot more pucks we wanted to get more traffic and you know I thought we did those things but you know by no means do we have everything all sorted out now moving forward and it's going to be a, a work in progress but obviously tonight it, it it played a big role what's it mean to the group to turn in an effort like this against a team that's given you some trouble in the regular season once a while and to do it without Austin yeah I mean over the course of the year you're going to miss guys um, so I think uh, I think it's more about the team effort, we're obviously happy with it. Um, you know, they're within our division. We got uh, uh, two more games coming up this week against the team. So, uh, I mean, those are important points. And so, you know, to come back on a, on a home ice after a, a trip where we got one out of four points, we wanted to, to put forth a good effort, and I thought we did that. Yeah. Yeah, I thought he was great. Um, you know, he's a big body. And, you know, like I said, we were talking about, I mean, obviously, we, We've been talking about things we can improve on, um, and, and, and traffic and shots are, are in that uh, in that conversation. So he played a big role in um, in that tonight. The ice looked pretty choppy tonight. Was was that a challenge? Uh, the ice was a little choppy, but um, yeah, there's two teams playing on it, so it's not something that we dwell on. What's in possession, uh, fifth place in terms of defenseman goals in this franchise? Pass me, pass me, McCabe, there and Caberly. Like, what, what goes through your mind when you hear that? Um, just. Just try to stay focused. Um, I mean, you ask me a question like that um, at 800 games, and it feels good, I suppose, when you bring it up. But ultimately, uh, I mean, there's lots of other guys in this room that have hit, you know, outstanding milestones. And um, the general demeanor is that we're going to just keep focused on, on on our group and what we can do. And we're always, as, as individuals, we're always striving to get better. And as a team, we're always striving to uh, uh, to improve and to grow and to 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 ultimately achieve what you want to do together. It's not about any one uh, specific milestone or anything like that. What stands out to about the, the work the penalty kill has done? Yeah, it's been outstanding. Um, obviously, Lane, uh, I mean, that's his kind of area. And, uh, I mean, we spend a lot of time talking about it. And, uh, I mean, that group takes a lot of pride in, in, in being stingy and, you know, blocking shots. And, um, I mean, we've got some guys out there that have done an outstanding job. Jeff, what allowed you to turn the tables on the Bruins here tonight? Um, I thought we were really good with our puck play. Um, I thought we were really good up on the up the ice on the four check. Um, drew a lot of penalties and obviously special teams came through tonight. What's uh, the biggest thing that's changed on the power play these last couple of games? I don't know. It's only been two games. I mean, it's two different units. So, um, you know, I think we a couple lucky bounces as well. But, um, you know, I think um, like we talked about. It. I mean, sometimes just throwing the puck to net, some good things happen. So. Um, definitely happened on that second one. Great tip by Nyzy on the third one there, and good seeing eye shot by Will. And um, I thought we moved the puck well. We had a lot of good opportunities. We had good entries and uh, made the most of it. How about your goalie tonight? I mean, he makes some big saves on some big players there and gets the crowd going. Yeah, it's, um, massive saves. I mean, um, I mean, a couple massive backdoor saves coming across the crease. Um, so he's been doing this uh, all year for us in that net. So um, big kudos to him. Um, definitely could have been a different game or a different score with, um, you know, without him. So um, it was massive. It was, it was great to hear the fans give him the love he deserved for it too. The penalty kill seems to really have some traction now. What's the biggest change Lane has made, do you think? Um, I think, you know, we know the plan. We know the game plan out there. Um, at the same time, it is just us reading and reacting off of it and, and trusting each other where we're going to be. And, um, I think we've done a great job of clearing the pucks 200 feet, uh, supporting one another in battles, getting the puck out clearly, and um, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been great. we just got to keep it going, uh, keep trusting the system that we're doing. We've had some major key blocks when we needed them and some major saves when we needed them as well. How, how important is Steve if you had some other roles like this? Yeah, massive. I mean, um, like we talked about this morning, um, Austin out, we knew people needed to step up in, in, in a big way. And, it's nothing new for Davey. Davey's been in that role for a long time. He's, he's unbelievable the last couple of years here. And, um, you know, me and him have good chemistry out there. I've known we're, we're going to be on the kill. So, um, you know, a couple of massive draws by him and um, some good shared clears and up ice pressure. William Nylander with yet another goal tonight. How impressed have you been to, with his start to the season? Yeah, it's great. Um, when Willie's rolling, the whole team's rolling. So uh, it's been great to see. Um, yeah, told him banks open. So, um, you know, those are the bounces that sometimes uh, that you need and to get something going, and especially our power play. So it's great, uh, great to see that one going.
there wasn't much five on five tonight, obviously, it's kind of like the whole size. So what did you guys do well when you needed strength to really go with Rose? Um, I thought we did a good job of up ice pressure, like I said, um, getting on the four check, um, resulting in some turnovers to penalties called. Um, I thought when we were in our zone, we did a good job of just staying patient, staying calm, um, being in lanes, um, trying to restrict stuff through the middle of the ice. Matt, do well here tonight to get the win. Uh, I think this is probably our most complete game of the year. I mean, obviously, Boston's a very good team. We knew that uh, they were physical and uh, they were going to try to kind of grind us down, and I think that we matched their intensity, matched their physicality really well. Congrats on the shutout. How does it feel? Oh, it's good. I mean, you know, most importantly, we got the two points and uh, beat a, a big division team. So, uh, you know, like I said, I thought it was probably one of our better 60-minute efforts of the year, and hopefully we can keep it rolling. How does it feel when the fans are chanting? Uh, you know, it's always good to get you, you know, kind of going and you appreciate the sport and they're the ones who, uh, you know, kind of drive us and, and give us energy. So anytime that they can get loud and make some noise for us, uh, we, we really appreciate it. We made, made a number of saves moving laterally tonight. Where's your level of confidence at when you're able to track the puck while moving as you did today? Uh, it's, you know, kind of makes the game a lot easier as a goalie when, when you can see it. And, um, you know, the guys did a really good job of kind of boxing out. So I was able to. Uh, see that uh, that initial release and just try to gobble it up and not give up any chances uh, on the on the rebound. What are, you from, How did you get, go ahead. what are you seeing from your penalty kill? It seems to really have some traction in front of you. I mean, it definitely helps when when guys are willing to commit and block shots. Look at Tanny Caber. Uh, you know the guys up top, Mitch. Uh, you know it's it's huge when when guys block shots because you know they obviously have one more guy and uh, there's a lot of traffic. So um, you know I just think the commitment to uh, you know. Each other and one game out there and killing the penalty for for that guy. It's uh, you know I think huge for us. As a big league guy, how did you go about kind of adding the speed element to your game, being able to get across and all that? Uh, just confidence, uh, you know, just kind of working at uh, working at my game, my edges, and uh, you know, being a bigger guy, you kind of don't have to challenge out as far. And uh, you know, I know if I set my feet and uh, see puck and see the release, uh, I like my chances of stopping it. Separated, been separated from your goal stick a couple of times the last few games. What's been going on there? Uh, yeah, I mean it's just kind of my, uh, it's just the way I play, the battle, the intensity. I mean, uh, you know, they're, they're obviously teams are going to throw a lot of guys and bodies at me, and uh, you know the time it takes to kind of get your stick and bring it around someone or bring it over someone. I mean that's kind of the difference between the puck going in and not. So uh, I feel comfortable in playing without it, and the pads nowadays kind of uh, you know seal up and. Uh, you know, so there's really no holes. So, uh, you know, obviously you don't want to lose it, but at the end of the day, I think it's just something, it's more of a competitive thing for me and just want to be able to stop the puck. Were you kind of expecting Pasternak to get a penalty when he moved your stick after you dropped it? I didn't even, somebody? I didn't even see. Oh, you uh, talked to the ref after, I just wondered if you were. Uh, I was just kind of, you know, talking to him about oh. uh, the calls and whatnot. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, you try to be friendly with the refs and, uh, you know, just kind of pick their brain a little bit. I think just his steadiness, just, you know, able to play 20 minutes a night and play, uh, play in the power play, play, uh, you know, PK minutes when we need it. And, uh, you know, when he's out there and, uh, you know, you have all the confidence in the world in him and he makes such a good uh, outlet pass to be able to break the puck out. It makes it a lot easier for us to transition. Guys, to turn the table on the Bruins in this one tonight. I think our power play was, you know, clicking. We had uh, my lucky goal, so that set us up a little bit. But, um... Yeah, and then our PK was great. So I think we played a great special teams game today, which was huge for our club. And Stoli was obviously incredible. It's a relief to see that one go in after all the angst on the power play early in the season. You're not getting the bounces, and then that one goes in. Yeah, well, I mean, Moe's went in first, so that was, like, huge. And then and mine, and then Nizy tipped the uh, third one. So, I mean, it was nice that it was, uh, we were getting those bounces today. Maybe... Uh, they wouldn't be goals in other games, but I guess because we've been struggling, they went in tonight. But I think it was good. I mean, Moe's would have gone in any other night, but the other one's that. Uh... Did you get the Warriors lucky or did you call bank on that one? Oh, that's just a blast. <laughs> How much has uh, Matthew Nyes' game evolved just since since he first joined the team now? The game has a couple of years now. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, I mean, off the ice, he's an unbelievable guy, hilarious guy. And I mean, obviously, he stepped up his game a lot. I mean, I think he's, uh, you know, matured in his game and coming a uh, great, you know, I don't know what, what kind of, uh, you know, power forward winger winning, I mean, in front of the net, winning battles, making plays, so yeah, doing a tremendous job. What's he do well, like, when he's in and around the front of the net? I mean, he's very strong on the puck and winning pucks back and then, you know, finding the guys uh, that are open. How big are wins over Boston like this? Like, it's regular season, I mean, it's just one win. It's, you now have goals in four of your past five games. What do you think has been clicking about your game the week's 
Um, I don't know, just maybe shooting the puck a little bit more, but uh, I've been lucky here in the beginning to find the net quite a bit, so it's uh, just keep it going, hopefully. What has been the most impressive part of Stolarz and start to this season with the new team and getting more work than he usually does? Yeah, he's been incredible every night. Even nights where I think that we've had, uh, where we've lost, he's been uh, amazing and um, played, I mean, more than well enough for us to, to win. Um, so yeah, he's been, uh, he's been incredible back there for us. Austin, Austin, he has a free record without Austin. He's the best player, but why do you think that is? Like, he has such a good record when he's out in the lineup. Uh, yeah, maybe everybody just uh, added a little bit more uh, compete to the game. I mean, guys are moved up in some spots, and I mean, maybe they can bring some energy and stuff uh, for for the guys uh, going forward. So um, you know, it's hard to cover up for him, but uh, everybody um, does their job. And what was the, the difference that you guys went over Boston here tonight? Um, special teams. Obviously, there's penalties on both sides, but I think our PK did a great job, and same with their power play. So. Yeah, it was a good effort in the special season department. What do you think's allowed the power play to finally break through here? Just getting pucks on net. Obviously, you see with like Willie's, Willie's both his shots, um, you know, tips off their own guy, um, you know, finds me by the net. You know, just getting pucks around there, it's it's definitely helped us. Were you net threat uh, in college on the power play? I was, yeah. 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 What do you like to say? Yeah, I mean, I'm a bigger player, so I like to take his eyes and, um, you know, just make plays on there. You know, obviously let the skill guys be on the outsides and, um, you know, make those plays. They make incredible plays. So I just got to, you know, put my stick in a good area and, and uh, I'm sure they can find me. Was there anybody that you watch having played the game in the past who is someone that excels in that front, real good tipper in front that inspires you? Yeah, I mean, Johnny is probably a, a perfect example. Um, you know, before coming here, I saw, I saw what he could do and I thought he was a, He's a great guy to learn from, especially in practice. Uh, um, you know, kind of creating good habits. I think he's he's uh, he's a guy I watch. What do you really learned, or the biggest thing? You know, we always see you out there after practice with him. Like, what what is the biggest thing you've learned from John? Uh, like I just said, the habits he has. Um, after every practice, he's out there just working on tips, um, little plays around the net, keeping his head up. Um, you know, his footwork. You know, keeping his body in front of it. You know, stuff like that. It's it's. Uh, you know, it, it looks easy, but you know, it's it's definitely harder than, than it seems. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I think these guys have had us for a little bit now, so I think we were all a little bit frustrated in here, and we wanted to play physical and, and get on them. Um, yeah, and then obviously it's it's uh, you know it, it sucks losing your best player, and um, but I think you know everyone stepped up, and I think it showed that you know we have a lot of depth in this room, and um, yeah, I think it was a great team effort. Yeah, it went both ways. You know, we were all uh, you know angry at each other. It's 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 a very emotional game between us. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not really shocked that there was you know some uh, you know plays after the whistle and stuff like that. But yeah, I think we just uh, we had the better of them in the special teams department. What's been the most impressive part of Stolarz this season so far, from your perspective, coming to a new team, playing more than he's used to? Yeah, he's fitting really well um, in the locker room around the guys. Um, yeah, he's done he's done an amazing job, you know, stepping in. Um, yeah, I'm really comfortable with him back there. So. Tonight, hey, Matthew, is the second time in your career where you've talked uh, 20 minutes of ice time. What does it mean to you to see your role grow like that? And, and where's your confidence right now in your overall game? Yeah, I get more confident each game. Um, as the season goes on, obviously, I play, I'm playing with some incredible players. So, um, yeah, it just gives me confidence, you know, with the puck and, um, you know, getting to see those minutes and, and those opportunities, it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate for it. So I just got to keep working and keep uh, keep pushing to, you know, kind of stay in that uh, stay in that spot. Obviously, you got that directness on the power play you were looking for. Too. Yeah, it was very good. I thought, um, you know, shot a puck from the point, screens, you know, another shot, screen, goal, pretty simple. I mean, but I thought they moved it around well. You know, even the first one. Um, I thought Mitch made a great play to Nye's back door, just missed it, yeah, you know, would have been a goal. But, no, they did a great job. Special teams were huge tonight. PK was great. Goalie was great. Um, yeah. On the ice, is as choppy as it seems to be? Does a direct game sort of fit the ice surface? Game? Yeah, no, I mean, for sure, but we want to play direct anyhow. Um, I don't doesn't really matter what the ice surface is like, but it was a little choppy. How did Stolarz succeed at your expectations this season? 
I didn't, sorry, I didn't hear you. The Lord succeeded your expectations. <clears throat> no, I don't think so. I think that uh, going back to last year, his season he had, if you look at his numbers, 30, 29 games I think he played and played extremely well. Um, you know, he's been around a while. He, you know, he's really learned how to be a real good goalie, understand what he needs to do in that uh, to be successful. And, you know, he's shown it now. Like, I think, though, but he showed it all last year, too. How have you guys in different roles and just how it all fit, all fit together? Not a whole lot of difference. Like, I mean, you know, we moved Max up. That line went against uh, the Pasternak line and Marshawn and, they did a good job. I thought that they uh, checked them well and kept them on the uh, on the outside for the most part, and did a good job. So it was a real good team effort by everybody. Like you know, our penalty kill was really good. You know, we used, you know, I used Camp and Marner a lot, and Holmberg. They got a lot of minutes on the PK tonight. They did a good job for us. Pardon me. Can't put over seven minutes in the PK. Would you like over use? Yeah, well, he's been really good, really good lately, like for a while now. And he was strong in the face-off thought, which was good. And I think it was more him getting to understand our penalty kill and trigger points and things like that. So he's really taken on that role. And, you know, that's his role, and he relishes it. So he's doing a great job for us. Penalty kill really seems to have some traction in the last few games. What made you choose Lane Lane Never? <clears throat> well, he's he's been a very good coach for a long time in this league, going back to, you know, with Barry Trotz, and I know Trotzy well, and, you know, Trotzy and I had talked about it, and he he thought it'd be a great fit, and I've heard nothing but great things about him as a coach, a person, and, you know, it's, you know, it's all true. Like, it's like, he's a detailed and um, great guy to work with, and it fits in really well with the coaching staff, and, uh you know, very intelligent. William Nylander now has goals in four of his past five games. What stood out to you the most about the way he's been playing recently? Well, he's being Willie. He scores goals. I mean, he's a dynamic player. I mean, he he's um, he's one of those offensive guys that, you know, the, the puck goes to him. He knows where the puck's going. He's got a great shot. We all know that. He's got, you know, skill level is off the charts and um but he's you know he's playing a good game like all around like he's not just thinking about offense he's been very good defensively and being in the right spots and doing the right things defensively which is good